Hello friends, this is Dr. Mitesh Kala, presently teaching in Campion School. Welcome to the online teaching resource. Hi, we are getting into percent percentage exercise 7C, the last part and that will have the chapter done. So, before we get into 7C, again repeating whatever I have been repeating in the previous videos, so that you happen to get it very clear in your head, okay? So, how does it go about? If you are given 10% of 2000, percentage is given, then what you do? Tell me, multiply by 100, very good. So, multiply by 100. So, basically 10 so sorry 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 divide by 100 what's wrong with me divide by 100 so 10 percent so 10 upon 100 of 2000 all right so divide by 100 when it is given further if you're finding percent if you want to find 20 of let's say 500 so now you want to find percent then what you do is you multiply by 100 so multiplying by 100, so 20 into 100 upon 500. So will we remember these two now forever? Percentage given, divide by 100. Percent to be found, multiply by 100. Clear? Last thing, complementary events. For example, pass and fail. If they say 33% failed, can you tell me how many percent passed? So 100 minus 33, that should be 67%. Only when there are complementary events, all right? So this is what you should do only in the case of complementary events. Always see what is the base and accordingly divide it to get your final answer. So let's hit it. Let's get into 7C, sum number 6. Come on. Uh, they say in a company, the production in 2003 was decreased by 25%. And in 2004, it increased by 40% of the beginning of 2004. What is the resulting change in the percent of production? So it's very simple. Start with the base as 100 and then go about it. So let the original production be 100. Therefore, final production, we already know how to do this. 100 into 25% reduced, so 75 and 40% increase, so 140. So two zeros go away, one zero goes away. Uh, five fifteens are, five twos are, ones are, sevens are. So 105. All right, this is not your percent, okay, remember. So therefore change. So change is 105 minus 100, that is five. And therefore percent change. Don't forget to do this last part. Don't take this only as percent. Otherwise, you lose one mark straight away. So, 5 into 100 of the original, which is 100. So, how much is the percent change? 5%. I'm just trying to check the answer so that I don't happen to teach you anything wrong. This is 7C sum number 6. 5% increase. It's better to write increase also or decrease whatever the case is. So, in this case, this has increased. So, see 25% reduced and 40% increase. Overall, only 5% increase compared to what the original one was. How many of you got it on your own? So, getting it, I am very impressed. Let's go to the next one, sum number 7. 7 is simple, go part by part. Cost price of 12 oranges, 24 rupees. And then later on, one score, it's given that one score is 20. So 20 oranges cost us 50 rupees. What is percent change? The easiest method is consider one orange at a time. So say CP of one orange for this case. So 24 divided by 12, 2 rupees. And later on, CP of one orange later. Once it increased, for, when it was given for the score, so 50 rupees for 20 oranges. So one orange is 2.50 rupees. So how much is the change? So change has become 2.50 to 2. 50 paise change. Correct? Now 50 paise change is how much percent? Can you just predict how much percent? Randomly. Let's see. So therefore percent change. So percent change will be 0.50 into 100 upon original original is 2 rupees not the final okay so 1s are 4s are 1s are 25 did you even imagine 
50 paise change from 2 rupees to 2.50 for one orange accounts to 25 percent change so 50 paisa is 25 percent change so you'll say therefore 25 percent increase in cost of oranges getting it so the easiest method is turn down it to do one orange compare the two get the change and then get the percent change all right let's go to the next one sum number 8 it is comparatively simple in maths out of 150 someone has scored 120 english and science get percent of each subject and then overall percent so first let's get for math so for math 120 You are finding percent, so therefore you are going to multiply by hundred out of one fifty. So zero zero, ah uh, five twenties are five threes are ones are fours are. So eighty percent marks have been scored in maths. Now for English, so English is one thirty six into hundred upon two hundred. So two zeros, two ones are two six are eight are. So in English, the child has not scored very well. It's just 68 percent. And finally, science, 108 out of 150. Let's see how good is science now. So five twos are threes are ones are three threes are three six are. So 72 percent. So the best is in maths. Wow, our subject best best is in maths at 80 percent. But what is the overall percent? Can you just predict what could be the overall percent? 80, 68, 72. Something around seventy-two to seventy-four, I guess. Let's see. So for total overall percent, first we will calculate total marks that the candidate has got. So he's got one twenty plus one thirty-six plus hundred and eight. So kitna ho gaya? Fourteen five and one six three sixty-four marks. All right. Out of So out of का भी total we'll have to do 150, 200, 150. So out of 500. So therefore percent marks is going to be 364. You are finding percent. So into 100 out of 500. So two zeros go away. Five sevens are one fourteen. So twos are and four. So point eight percent. So see, we were close, 72 to 74. We said so the child has scored 72.8 overall percent. So see, English has brought the percent down, but maths has helped the percent to go up. Whereas science is a stable one. So if your one subject also is bad, your marks are going to drop, even if your maths is good. So you should practice on every subject. All right. Let's go to the next one. Sum number nine. Nine, we've done this type before. It's just a recap. So come on, pause right now. Do it on your own. A is 25% older, so B is younger. So let B's age be 100, 100 years. Therefore, A's age will be 25% of 100 plus 100. So that becomes 125 years because B is older. Now your question is, what is percent? What percent is B younger than B? Or B younger than A? So first the change. So change is 125 minus 100. So B is 25 years younger than A. But percent me kitna hai? So percent younger. How much percent younger? So 25 finding percent. So into 100. Upon what? Now B younger than A compared with A, so A's age should come down. That is 125. So ones are fives are 20% younger. So you can say therefore B is 20% younger than A. Got it? So B becomes 20% younger than A. All right. See, A is 25% older than B, but B is 20% because the bases are changed. All right. When you take this 25%, 100 is the base that is B. But when you want to take this, then 125 becomes the base. So therefore, there is a percent change in either ways. Or uh, 11 part. No, no parts. 11. It's a very simple question. Three candidates in an election. These are the awards. What are the percent of winning candidate ka awards? So winning candidate is this one. Uh, you already have the candidates vote, but you need to find the overall total votes. So eight plus two ten, one, ah ten twenty, so two, 
of 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 plus 5, 16. So 1 lakh 60 thousand are the total votes. So therefore percent of votes of winning candidate. So winning candidate has got 72,000. Your finding percent so into 100 and your base is the total which is 1 lakh 60,000. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 16 fours are 64. So 6 plus 2, 8, 5 times is 80. So 45%. So therefore the person who has won the elections has got 45% votes. Got it? So you write therefore percent of votes of winning candidate is equal to 45%. Got it? How many of you are managing on your own? Proud moment for you. Keep it up. Good job. Let's go with the 13th one. 12th, okay, 12th also was there. Sorry. 12th part 2. Part 1 you can manage, I'm sure it's simple. So try 12th part 2. Uh, there is a number which is reduced by 16% and you get 798. So what's the number? So two methods, either take it as X or take it as 100. 100 means unitary, lengthy. X is easier. So let original number be X. Decreased by 16%. So therefore decrease is 16% of X is the decrease. Right? So that is 16 upon 100 X. So therefore original number minus decrease is equal to new number. So original number is X. Decrease is 16 upon 100 X. And what number do you get is 798. This is one method. Second, even easier, directly take 84%. You remember the complementary events. See, 100 minus 16, any which ways it's going to give me 84 only. 798 into 100. See, LCM I took 100 minus 16, so 84. Okay, let me do all the steps so you don't get confused. 100x minus 16x upon 100. So that means LCM 798. 100 goes on the other side. This is 84x. And then 84 also comes down. So 798 into 100 upon 84. So let us see how can we cancel this. So cancelling it straight away with 4 first. 425s are 421s are. Now 21 with this. So 21 3s are 63. So 168. So 8 times. So X. 25 8s are 200. So 20, 75, 95. 95 should be my answer, is it? 950. Let me check. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. So you can say therefore, original number is equal to 950. Got it? Last question, sum number 13. Put a star besides it. It's really a good question. The price of the sugar has increased by 20%. But this family doesn't want to increase the cost on sugar. So they are reducing their consumption. Consumption means how much sugar they are going to eat. So how much should they reduce the consumption so that the total cost or expenditure on sugar remains the same. So let original price be rupees 100. So therefore new price it's increased by 20 percent so 120 by 100 of 100 so becomes 120 rupees so original price of the sugar is 100 new price has become 120 so 20 rupees it's increased how much should the consumption be decreased so here this is slightly different you'll have to pay attention with me otherwise you might not get so let's say let original consumption B rupees X and new consumption. New consumption is the reduced one B Y. Alright. So therefore original cost. So original cost was 100 rupees into let's say X kg. Original consumption X kg not rupees and final consumption Y kg which is reduced one. Okay. So 100 into X rupees. Once again let's understand this. See you Cost is 100 rupees and the consumption is x kg. 
so the total cost will be hundred x rupees, right? Okay, new cost or is new price which is one twenty and new cost which is y rupees. Are you getting this? New cost. Plus new consumption, which is a reduced consumption. Now both the costs are basically same. So you can say original cost is equal to new cost because we kept the expenditure same. So 100x, 120y. So x upon y, 120 by 100, 6 by 5. So this is the original quantity needed. This is the new quantity needed. Now, how to go about with this further? So, pay attention carefully. Now, it's a lovely question from here. Okay, so we will say let uh, x is the original cost, or uh, not cost consumption. So, x by y is six by five. So, we will say let original consumption be six a kg. You have to give one variable. Okay, and new consumption. B five a kg. Now, using these two bases, let's find out the change in the consumption. So, change will be six a to five a. So, one a kg has been changed. What is this a? We don't know. All right. So, we will look at that later. Don't worry. Right now, the change is one a. So, therefore, percent change. So, percent change is change. Into hundred upon original quantity that is six a. A gets cancelled. Hundred by six, two threes are two fifties are. So fifty three sixteens are two by three percent, or you can say sixteen point six seven percent. Slightly technical question. Once again, let's go about with it. We said original price, new price increased by twenty. Original consumption in kg, new consumption both have been assumed. Now original price. Let me take another marker to make you understand this. So original price, sorry. Original price is hundred, and original consumption is x. So hundred into x gives you hundred x rupees. Are you with me till here? Perfect. Further new price and new consumption. So when I multiply these two, I get. New cost, but the cost is same because we reduce the consumption, so both the costs are same. This gives me a ratio between the consumption quantities, which is x upon y is equal to six upon five. So I got the original consumption as six a, new consumption as five a. So reduced or changed consumption is one a. All right. So this one a, then you further take it, and this much has to be reduced. So your final answer will be therefore. How much question is so that the uh, this how much consumption should decrease? So 16.67 percent decrease in consumption is required. Are you getting it now? How many of you all understood this? If you didn't, please watch it again. It's a good question. For your homework, I want you to do seven C sum number six, nine, ten part one and two. 12 part 1 and 13 13 please do it again it's a very good question i hope you followed this entire chapter and you really enjoyed it if you did so please let me know in the comment section until the next video take care stay safe pray for everyone and be honest bye i hope you enjoyed the video please do write your math experience in the comment section thank you